Hello guys and welcome to the accounting buddy. In this channel our focus is on financial accounting, auditing, taxation and everything to do with management accounting. Today I'm going to be showing you tips on how to master debits and credits. Now first off where we're going to be beginning at is the basic accounting equation which simply means our assets equal our liabilities plus owner's equity. Now, assets increase, this is something you need to keep in mind, assets increase on the debit side, which is the left hand side. And liabilities plus our owner's equity increase on the credit side, the right side. I just made a note here that capital is the same thing as owner's equity. Now, these are the three fundamental questions you need to ask yourself every time you are dealing with debits and credit question. First of all, which elements are being affected? There are only three elements in accounting. That is your assets, your liabilities, and your owner's equity. Which accounts are being affected? And did the accounts which are affected increase or decrease? Now, let's put a zero here, right? Let's put a zero here. And now, let's say every time the asset decreases, it moves towards the zero right it moves to the right and every time that our liability and owners equity account decreases it moves to the left towards the zero right so now we have established that when assets decrease they move towards the zero and when liability and owners equity decrease they move towards the zero just as the asset is just that it's in opposite directions right now when the assets increase they move away from the zero hence they move to the left hand side now when our assets sorry when our liability and owner equity increase they move towards the right or away from the zero right hence i said assets increase on the debit side left means debit it doesn't mean plus or minus it just means debit the right hand side means credit doesn't mean a plus so let's make it let's look at some examples here right this is what we call a t account right i'm sure you've seen this one before okay so i'm going to show you a couple of examples say you're starting a business and you deposit let's say a hundred rand right so this is going to affect uh, which element it's going to affect both the asset and the owner's equity right which accounts are being affected cash account is going to be affected as well as the capital account right as i explained earlier that's the owner's equity account the capital account right let me just try to write it out there the capital account so it's very important that you keep uh, this technique that i just showed you of moving towards and away from the zero say you started your business and you deposited let's say 100 rands right so since our cash which is an asset is going to be increasing it's going to be moving away towards the zero on the left hand side this is where we're going to place our 100 because the account is increasing by 100 rands now on the capital side we did know that capital increase on the right hand side so this is where we're going to make our 100 rand so both these equations must always be in balance at any given point so our capital account and our cash account on the other side are balanced right now let's look at uh, further examples so that we can really take these points home say for example you sold a product right cash you sold a product cash and uh, this is our t accounts so let's look at what's going to be affected again you ask yourself the same questions which elements are affected our assets and our owner's equity which accounts are affected it's going to be the cash is it increasing or decreasing of course we sold a product for cash that means we received something let's say we sold the product for 11 rands so our cash account that which is an asset is going to increase on the like on the left hand side and here we are going to have our revenue account which is our owner's equity right revenue is going to definitely increase 
it's going to increase on which side you've guessed it on the right hand side because it is our owner's equity and it increases towards the right so this is another example here so now guys if you are having challenges with this just give me a comment there on the comment section and then i'll explain even further okay now say we bought equipment on we bought equipment on 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 credit right we bought equipment on credit not cash credit right so we're going to have our t account here okay let me get a bit more space here yes so we're still on the equipment that we bought we bought equipment for 50 rands on credit so we're going to have sorry about that let's say this is our chi account um it's going to be i'm just trying to get a hang of this yeah this is going to be our e for equipment right and we bought equipment for 50 rands our equipment side which is an asset is going to increase by 50. now what is going to happen on the other side of our liabilities that means our accounts payable right our accounts payable is also going to increase by 50 because now we owe 50 rand or the business owes 50 rand since we bought this on account okay now let's look at another example here let's say we we bought inventory for cash right we bought inventory for cash again we look at which accounts are going to be affected right uh, we've got our inventory account here which is an asset inventory account uh, excuse my handwriting guys <laughs> inventory account invento inventory account let's say we bought the inventory for five friends right our inventory account is going to increase on the debit side this is this is cash right so our inventory is going to increase on the on the debit side but what is going to happen and which account is affected on this side right our cash is going to go down right so this is a transaction that only affects the the asset side of our basic accounting equation so our cash is going to be credited that means it's sorry let's ignore let's ignore the the zero this is just five friends let's ignore the zero this is just five friends so just to explain further here this means that our inventory has increased by five friends but our bank or our cash at the bank has been reduced by five friends since we bought it for cash so guys this is basically how the debits and credits uh, system works so always remember when the assets decrease they move towards the zero when the credits also decrease they move towards the zero when they increase they move away from the zero hence our owner's equity and liability increase on the right side which is the credit side and our assets increase on the left hand side which is our debit side so always keep that one in mind guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you are in need of an academic you know support this is my email you can contact me there you can also follow me on twitter guys and uh, do leave some comments guys it's very important that i get your feedback and i will see you on the next video now